All right, guys. Uh, what's up? This is Stoner Crazy Clips Two Twenty Two, and this is a video response to uh, Asian Drummer Eighty Four, and it's all about Viacom versus YouTube. Now you're probably wondering why am I doing a video about this? Well, I just found out about it <clears throat> from Asian Drummer Eighty Four, and big shout out to him. Um, but I actually just found this out. I was, you know, looking through my comments and all that. And I was looking at my subscriptions page, and I found this video. And I really just wanted to watch it, because in my old account, also known as Stoner Crazy Clips, without the numbers on the end, if you knew me back in the day, whenever I started on YouTube in about uh, April 2007, I actually started making uh, Beavis and Butthead, you know, music videos, and just stuff that pertained to that around in the summer of 2007. I ended up getting uh, really popular with those videos. I ended up getting, uh, on some of them I got over 10,000 views. Uh, whenever they hit around over 5,000, because I had about four of them, they ended up getting removed. And I was just sitting on, you know, the internet one day, and all of a sudden my Yahoo Messenger popped up three new emails uh, saying that all these videos were removed in their Beavis and Butthead. Uh, I go through, open the emails, and it says, you violated copyrights, and I mention Viacom's name in the videos, so I don't see how I really violated anything, and uh, I can understand what, what the deal is. Uh, they're, they're trying to get after people who post full episodes, and people who post full episodes, that's what this whole YouTube versus Viacom thing is all about, is that... YouTube is keeping videos on that people are making that are they're like full episodes of like Beavis and Butthead or whatever other company you know your show Viacom owns and they're posting full episodes and YouTube is not removing the users for doing that now I can understand their point in that you know I mean that makes sense but when you're making something like what I did with music videos that were fan based I, I purchased all the DVDs, so I, I feel I purchased all I can purchase from them, and I really loved the show, so I ended up making music videos and all that just for fun, and I end up getting removed for violating copyright, which I don't really see how it's violating any copyright at all, and I that's what I ended up getting removed for, so... That's all I've got to say about that, and then my stance on the Viacom versus YouTube, they're, they're trying to sue them over that. I mean, if they win, like, like Asian Drummer said, if they win, you know, YouTube and their users are pretty much just going to be screwed. And, uh, I don't know, I really, I mean, that, that just says it all right there. If, if Viacom wins... It's going to be over for YouTube, I would say. But, you know, what do I know? I'm just I'm just one of the many users, and my word's not really going to matter, you know? Uh, it's all going to be up to the courts, but... I would say, Viacom, I think you're doing something that you really shouldn't be doing. I don't really think it's fair that... I, I think it's fair if you're doing that, but I don't think it's right to sue the users over that. I think a nice suspension would do them good, but don't, don't go out suing just random people. But, but if you want to sue YouTube, I, I guess just do that. I, I would say that's better than suing, um, you know, just random users wearing a depression and all that. How, how do you think they're going to be able to afford to give you any of your money anyway? So, you know, whatever, Viacom, you do what you want. I would say don't sue YouTube at all, but if you had to sue YouTube or the users, you know, I still think YouTube could be functional after being sued, maybe, but I think YouTube, that you're going to have more of a chance suing YouTube than just the individual users. So, whatever, you do what you want, I would suggest not doing it at all, but, because you're just going to create, um, you're just going to create all kinds of problems for yourself. So... Whatever, that's all I had to say. Again, big shout out to Asian Drummer 84. Go out and check out his videos and stuff. And uh, I really don't have anything else to say. So, you know what, Viacom? Do what you want, but 
you know, if you end up doing that or you end up suing a bunch of users over that, I won't buy any more products from you. So if you're watching this, which you're probably not, but if you are, uh, you know, that that's all I got to say. I won't buy another product off you again if, if what happens happens. So, all right, well, that's my message, and that's all I got to say. All right, later.